Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I am excited to show you the first Necrochasm build of the channel. Um, I probably will be covering this quite a little bit. Um, I'm not sure when I'll be covering it but um, we're going to be starting off with a build today anyway. Um, it is going to be very similar to the Osteo build that I've covered in the past and you know that's been covered by many people as well. Um, so yeah it's going to be quite similar to that except instead of Osteo we're obviously going to be using Necrochasm. Um, absolutely love this thing. It's awesome. So, uh, yeah, let's get into this. Anyway, Necrochasm. Basically, what it does is when you get a precision kill, it will cause that target to explode like a curse for all, which is what it did in D1, um, early D1 anyway. Um, and the cool thing about this version of Necrochasm is that when you do that, it will actually, um, inflict poison onto any enemy that was tagged by the curse for all explosion that doesn't die. Um... And it will also auto reload the mag so that's pretty cool um now the neat thing about it obviously poisoning enemies is that it will work with necrotic grips so that's what we're going to be using for this build too um and anything that dies to the poison after that will just infinitely chain the poison until there's nothing left to poison or until an enemy doesn't die to the poison um so yeah and obviously our melees will be able to poison too and necrochasm will also get a little bit of an ae buff which doesn't matter at all but it's there um now on top of it doing this when you auto reload the mag or you just reload manually um you'll actually activate the new perk desperation which is basically desperado um and it'll make it a 900 rpm like it was in d1 it'll give it uh, 100 stability and it will also give it a little bit of aim assist um and yeah you can proc this by uh reloading after a precision kill like normal desperado or with a curse raw explosion and the thing is with the curse raw explosion is it activates this anyway but it will also reload your mag um so you can just keep firing keep getting headshots and you'll never have to reload and you'll always have a 900 rpm auto rifle um which is pretty damn strong in pve thanks to the auto rifle buff uh, now as for the subclass honestly it's pretty customizable now since they nerfed uh suspend quite a lot i have still gone really hard on suspend because it is still very very strong um especially for general you know ad clear and whatnot um so we are going to be using mind spun invocation um and i'm also using the wanderer for a little bit of extra suspend because it's just nice keeping an enemy just in place for a moment and just melting them with your gun um they won't be able to shoot back or anything it doesn't last very long i'm also not extending it with fragments um but it is there so we are going to be using mind so that we can eat our shackle grenade which gives us Weaver's Trance for 25 seconds. Um, and every final blow with that active will, you know, create a, a suspend explosion on top of the Curse Raw explosion and the Poison explosion. Um, so you're going to be ad clearing very, very efficiently with that. Um, and then I have Wanderer just, you know, for an extra suspend. You can use Weave Walk if you want to. Um, you can also use Weaver's Call if you like to run Fredlings. I'm, I'm not a massive fan of Fredlings myself. Um, and, you know, I have not gone hard on the Rift. I like going hard on the melee for uh, Strand because Arcane Needle is very strong. Obviously, Necrotic Grip, um, Poison's on melee, and I, I like being able to do that from range. Um, and then also, you know, you have three melees as well. So having um, having as much strength as you can is, is pretty good. Uh, so, yeah. Last fragment is, or last aspect is basically up to you. You can use whatever you want, um, but I like having Wanderer just for the extra suspend. Uh, so, yeah. Now, for the fragments, obviously, we have Thread of Warding because Woven Mail is broken. Uh, they did nerf it a little bit this season, actually. Uh, they nerfed it by 10%, so it was 60%, now it's 50%. Nerf didn't do anything, it's still broken, so definitely run this. Uh, then I have Thread of Binding, which is going to make my supers uh, emit a suspending burst basically just extra suspend honestly you can use whatever you want here um it doesn't really matter if you want to get your class ability back from suspended target kills or you want to get orbs or you know you want to uh sever targets as well sever is very very strong as well um it is up to you you can use whatever you want here so yeah they have threaded generation dealing damage generates grenade energy absolutely broken on um, a necrotic build because every single poison tick will count for that as well as all of the other damage you're doing with all your abilities and weapons. Um, so you'll get grenades back very, very, very fast. Uh, I do also have 100 discipline to get those grenades back fast because I want to be using Weaver's Trance as much as possible. Um, and you can also just 
have Weaver's Trance up, get a grenade back almost instantly, and then, you know, be able to use a Shackle Grenade as a backup, uh, just to suspend things quick, or just to save it for Weaver's Call. Uh, no, not Weaver's Call, um, Weaver's Trance. I don't know why I said Weaver's Call. I, I got confused with this for some reason. Uh, but yeah, very nice to have. And then lastly, I have Thread of Transmutation, which is just to get Tangles a bit easier. Um, since, you know, normally you would have to use either Strand Guns or your abilities. Now, yes, I will be using my abilities, and obviously the Suspend will count, but it's just nice to have, plus I like having the Strength. Um, but you can also use whatever you want here as well. The two main fragments you want, really, is Generation and Warding. Um, the rest is up to you, so yeah. Now, as for the mods, um, honestly, very hard to say. It, just use what you like. I really don't have any suggestions here because the mod system sucks so yeah just uh go for orbs if you can go for surges i like running surges for my guns and obviously for dps phases if i was to use this build i would just switch it to whatever my heavy matches um so that would be solar in this case uh anything to get your abilities back faster you know just the usual but there's nothing else to really use except from this resists just to stay alive a bit longer Sometimes reserves if you're into that. It doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah. That's that's pretty much it for the mods. Um, artifact. You can use Tangle stuff. Um, and whatever other Strand stuff is in here. If you'd like to. Um, personally I'm not. Because I'm not actually able to make them. Because to make. Um, well I, I guess I can. Technically I can. Um, but you know. But something like this, Strand Weapon Final Blows, that's not going to do anything. Um, now, this one's pretty okay, but again, I'm not using Strand Weapons, so that doesn't really work. Um, but this this is very good. Refreshing Pickups is good. Um, as well as a few other things here, like uh, Elemental Embrace, definitely run this. Uh, subclass Elemental Buffs grant you a bonus to Recovery and Damage Resistance. Now, that's Recovery, the stat, and then DR, the background stat. That's not, res that's not Resilience, it's just Damage Resistance. Um, so it will stack with resilience and it will stack with woven mail um, and when you have woven mail this will proc so it's it's very strong um, you can also use uh, elemental munitions if you're into that um, technically i should be running that for a strand build um, so yeah because just free ammo and tangles obviously is very easy to use on this so that's literally the build there is nothing else to say um, the other weapons don't matter obviously you just use whatever you like this is a ad clear focus build not really a dps build um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of Necrochasm as well in D2. I absolutely adore this thing, so definitely going to be covering more. Um, I'll just have some gameplay at the end showing off the build. It's going to be very similar stuff to what was in the Osseo video a while back. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think, and adios.